big monogram on the mountain lets you know we're at Liberty University. A huge trail system that we found on MTV Project and it was very tempting. We saw green circles, blue squares, but black diamonds and double diamonds. So we wanted to find out what these advanced trails were all about. So let's get started. So Mrs. Techie Rider and I are here doing the Enduro route, uh, Liberty University Trails in Lynchburg, uh, AKA Candler's Mountain. So let's see how it is. So it's been a pretty flowy trail so far. A lot of these wooden berm features all over it. Great when it's dry, not so great when it's wet. But very jumpy trail, uh, a little gravelly, so you gotta be careful on the corners. But uh, nice tables and a, and a few little like small baby gaps. So we'll keep on going down. So all the trails we've been on this so far have had this type of profile. You know, relatively flat. A little tiny bit of rocky and rootiness. Sort of shaly rocky roots. Uh, yeah, but mostly flat so far. The bottom of Horton's was a little double tracky and a little bit more gnarly and high speed. But overall, this is what we've been seeing so far. So most of the trail consists of this gravelly stone. That's what you're riding on. So we came across this rock feature here. It's a drop, but we're going that way. Maybe this is the wrong direction. So we just climbed to the top of Killer Bees. It's part of the uphill section of this Enduro route that we're doing. And none of the climbs were too bad. Yeah, nothing too punchy. Just constant, a lot of switchbacks, so. All right guys, the ride had to be cut short. Uh, the heat was getting to my lady a little bit, so she wanted to duck out back to the car, but uh, from what I got to ride, uh, I'm gonna say that this is not really known as a technical area. It is very parky, so a little bit of a bike park feel to it going on. And, it, you know, bermy, some jumpy. The, the double diamonds that are listed here are listed that way because they are a little jumpy. But there's nothing that is mandatory or really serious jumping. But I think uh, this is hardtail heaven here from what I've seen. And if you really like that kind of riding, jumpiness and bermy and flowy, then you would really like the what this place has to offer. Probably we'll have to come back and do a longer review, maybe ride some more of the trails, but it just wasn't in the cards today. Now, it's kind of interesting, you can see in the parking lot behind me is there is a pretend snowboard slope. I guess they put soapy water on there and people come down on snowboards. Pretty interesting. And they also saw a trampoline park, so other stuff to do. Liberty University is close by, so uh, there, there's a lot of trails here to explore still. But uh, I got to do some of the double diamonds. Uh, Horton's trail, the bottom, again, was a little bit technical, so... That was fun and a little bit of speed. So uh, overall for difficulty rating, I'd probably kind of a blue square green circle-ish uh, rating so far, just because, you know, jumpiness, things can get a little tricky. There are some uh, quick turns after some jumps up on the double diamond trail playground, which is what we were on. Um, as far as spilly ratings go, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. There can be some speeds involved. But overall, there's really not a lot to uh, really catch you. And you have to be careful. The ground is a little bit shaly, gravelly rock. So watch your corners. You know, you can slide out on some corners. But uh, overall, that's my rating. So until next time, high five. So camera woes continue. I was hoping to use this old CM1000 Shimano cam. Uh, with the, the lens ca cap was all scratched up. But I took that off just to give it a try so it doesn't have a lens cap. And then I made a helmet mount, figuring that might be the most stable for POV video for this ride. But unfortunately, the battery in this guy must have deteriorated and it lasted all of about 20 seconds. So, you know, I keep saving up my nickels and dimes looking for that GoPro Hero 4 with the Evo SS uh, gimbal. So if you'd like to help out, uh, go ahead and hit the link in the description and uh, become a patron and, uh, you know, help me improve. Grow with me. Thanks, guys. About 15 minutes away from the trail is a place called R.A. Bistro. 
good burgers and even better salads. Check them out.